Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for March 1st to the 7th. Wow, we're already going into March. <laughs> thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members for all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. And if you would like to get my new uh, Oracle deck, pre-order that, or you'd like a personal reading with me, it's jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the link below this video. Please remember these are general messages. You can check your moon, your rising, or your sun sign for more information. Your sun represents your soul, your moon represents your emotions, and your rising sign represents your physical you. All three of these make up who you are, so feel free to cross watch for more information. All right, so as you guys know, we're gonna do the day to day and then the overall. If you guys like that, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. All right, let's jump right in. What's going on, Mike? Pisces Romantic Love Life for March 1st to the 7th. Pisces Romantic Love Life, March 1st to the 7th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. What's going on with my Pisces Romantic Love Life for March 1st to the 7th? Pisces Romantic Love Life for March 1st to the 7th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on my Pisces Romantic Love Life from March 1st to 7th? Pisces Romantic Love Life from March 1st to 7th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Let's move this over here. Okay. So we got the first. We got the second. We got the third. The 4th of March, the 5th of March, the 6th of March, and the 7th of March. So as you guys can clearly see the day to day, feel free to come back, check this out. Let me know how it played out in your personal life in the comments below. All right, and this is what's going to be influencing this. This is what's gonna cause this this week. This is how your love interest feels about you. This is your advice for this week. And this is going to be the overall outcome here. Now keep in mind that a lot of times I will get the the uh, the name of the video from the overall outcome, so keep that in mind. So as you guys can see, it's a pretty extensive reading. We're gonna layer more cards on top of this, so stick with me till the end. Let's jump right in. So let's go on the first. Hmm. So you guys are dealing with some uncertainty on this day. You're like, all right, is there really a true romantic connection here? Because things are unclear to me. Hmm. And the Three of Pentacles is like, all right, for some of you, maybe you're in a work environment, maybe there's a team environment, or you feel like they're not working together with you with the Three of Pentacles energy, right? It's like uncertainty about, are we building a foundation here? You know, what's going on with this situation, right? Hold on. And we got the tree card energy, which shows me to do with healing and recovery. So a lot of you may be still dealing with some kind of healing, some kind of recovery. You're looking for the right sign there right for things to like come in uh, maybe you're feeling a little bit uh topsy-turvy on that day okay three can represent some kind of creative solution right working together three card energy five is saying you're happy you're having some challenges or changes around that okay so i want to see what the influence is considering hmm looks like somebody could really be obsessing about you okay this is like the devil card energy in my deck um, there's a sense of strong desires, strong attachments, okay? All right, so let's keep going here. On the second, hmm, socializing is happening here. Interacting with others brings balance and happiness. Now, this for me is like the garden card in my deck. Garden card represents people involved with your situation, all right? Or maybe you're gonna interact with your family or friends, or you have more than one choice or option here. Let's see. Four of Pentacles. So on this day, it seems like there's a sense of, I need to hold on to things. I need to hold on for success here with the Four of Pentacles energy. Because of this hurt and this pain. So also when I see the Four of Swords, excuse me, Four of Pentacles energy, I do see that card sometimes when there's a situation where somebody needs to forgive someone else. And since I see the tree next to it and I see that there needs to be some, there's some hurt or pain or some arguments or disputes or some repetitive things going on here. All right, so you maybe wanna be aware of that, okay? All right, so on the third, you're getting some kind of communication from them, all right? They are reaching out to you, they're communicating, there's some kind of news or messages coming soon for you on the third. 
And you're having a sense of victory here with the Six of Wands energy. They want your attention here. Yeah, they want to have a conversation with you. There, the bird's cart energy is coming out. So there's some healing and recovery from arguments and disputes or hurts and pains and a conversation about this. Three of Pentacles is like, all right, are we going to work together here? Can we hold on to this situation for success here? And there is like, I want your attention. I want this victory here. I have this uncertainty when it comes to people or choices or because of family and friends. And it's like some communication is going to happen around that. Six represents healing and recovery and some kind of choice around a change here. All right, so let's keep going. So on the fourth, so we see that there's some healing happening here for you. So there, you guys are reflecting on some things and now you're moving into the healing mode here on the fourth. But on the same token, you're like, you know what? I need to be logical here. I need to use my head, right? Because I need to make wise choices and wise decisions and take a leadership role here with the King of Swords energy. Because it's like you're holding some kind of knowledge that you have there. That this uh, King of Swords is holding a book in their hand. And there is a roaring fire in the background. So there's something burning there about the situation that is, is starting to heal here. Yeah, we got the sun card energy, as I said. There is a sense of luck and happiness here. So now there's more of a focus on happiness and this burning desire to be wise in your decision making, right? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy with that king of swords being there. Four is seeing stability and stableness. And you have big luck here. All right, so what's going on the fifth? Whoa, okay. So there's new love coming in for you guys. A potential new love interest is coming in for you. Definitely want to make a note of that day. Hmm. But you're like, all right, is this really a situation here? Okay, so you got this potential new love interest, but you're having the sense that someone's not telling you the truth. You see those three people in that card. There's two people together and one person like looking aside like, hmm, what's going on here? All right, so we got the seven of swords energy going on. And we got the tower card energy, possibly at a corporate building, okay? A corporate situation, because some of you, obviously, there's there's something work-related going on here. But it's three of pentacles and this sense of recognition here, okay? For others of you, it's like, all right, you're dealing with some things uh, with a person and a sense of healing and recovery, or some of you have more than one choice or option going on here. So we see there's a sense of isolation or separation because you're like, if, are they telling me the truth? Is this potential love interest telling me the truth? Is there a, maybe another person involved, okay? That's what I feel like there. And 10 is like, is there a sense of completion? Is this going to end to start anew here? There's a lot of thinking, contemplating, analyzing going on about that energy. Hmm. Seems like there's also regrets happening here. Okay, there's a lot of unhealthy reflections of the past. And what did I say about that four pentacles energy? It's when there's something that needs someone's holding on to a situation, a person, right? And it's like they need to let go of that because that's how the healing process begins. It's like there's socializing, which can represent family or friends, influence in the romantic love life or more than one choice or option. And we see there's healing and recovery in the sense of regrets about what happened. Yeah, and it's like the full card is saying, okay, I want to take a risk. I want to take a leap of faith. And we see a person card's coming out. Okay. And we see there's arguments and disputes, and now there's happiness or something is revealed about this person. There's healing and, re healing and recovery happening because of some sense of structure, organization, or isolating them, yourself from that situation. Okay, let's keep going. So it looks like you guys are taking control of things with this control card. You're asserting yourself and taking charge of your destiny. Okay, we got the Ten of Pentacles. There's a sense of long-term commitment and family, Ten of Pentacles energy. And you're hearing news or messages about this with the writer card energy. So there's an isolation or a structured organization around this situation with this person that you're gonna hear news and messages about. There's this new love coming in and there's regrets about the past when it's like, all right, so you're deciding to take control of things when it comes to family and this possible opportunity here because we see the one card energy and we see two plus nine is 10 11 making a choice for a sense of completion and accomplishment here we see healing and recovery from hurt and pain and speaking about this because you want to focus on your happiness you're isolating yourself again uh, away from this particular person because of something to do with news or messages or there's a structured situation going in place because of this person because there's messages or news about this sense of family long-term commitment here and taking that risk Okay, let's keep going here and let's see what is going on with this influence. All right, justice, just choice, just decision, marriage, divorce, right? So there's obsessions about this decision. And are we going in the right direction, right? 
because that's the the compass card six is healing and recovery so someone's really obsessing about this decision about whether or not they're going in the right direction how does your love interest feel about you your love interest feels that they're hoping that you're single and available to pursue here because they want something to end to start anew here with the death card energy because they, they do want to take some kind of risk or gamble here with the dice card energy. So for some of you, there may be another relationship going on or this love interest may feel like there's another situation going on that they're, they're like, all right, now I want them to be single and available and I want this to end so we could start anew and, and otherwise it's going to be a risk or a gamble here. What's your advice? Okay, so your advice is to be patient here. Being willing to accept delay and know that anything worth having takes time. The Empress is be nurturing, be caring, and follow your emotions here. Heart, uh, this is like the, uh, for me, the fish card can represent emotions, okay? Uh, it can represent money and finance, okay? It can represent movement. So a lot of thinking, contemplating, analyzing here. All right, so, and being patient, willing to be patient here in your situation because anything worth having takes time right so seven of pentacles for me that's kind of like the seven of pentacles energy allow things to like play out give it time all right so oh my goodness we got the tower card here coming out for the overall outcome some big surprises some big changes something shocking here about this crossroads energy all right some indecisions here about it and it's like I just want them to make a wise choice when it comes to romance and love, you know, by their accumulation experience. So something is very shocking about the situation, about this indecision for them. And they're like, I just want them to be wise in their decision making here. We see that there is this new opportunity of true love for you guys. So this is really surprising, the shopping. There is there is the, uh, the on the date of the 5th, we see the new love comes in. We see it again in the overall. Something shocking about this opportunity of new love, true love. And it's like you're trying to see the bigger picture or they want to see things from a new way and a new perspective or it's gaining you a new perspective about things which is leaving you at a crossroads here and there's a sense of confusion around it with the moon card energy so you got this opportunity of true love coming in and obviously we're seeing more air energy here possibly gemini libra aquarius energy okay so this potential new love interest is coming in it really surprises you really shocks you and now you're at a crossroads what should i do here yeah we see a person card coming out and there's some kind of changes or improvements, but it's like, it's like someone can't be honest here because they're confused about, all right, am I gonna make a wise decision when it comes to love and romance? Wow, so you got this shocking thing happening about this new true love and it's like this crossroads, like confusion about, oh my God, I, I need to be able to take off this mask and reveal myself, but I don't know, am I gonna make the wise choice and wise decision? And I feel like that's why that Seven of Swords energy is coming out because you're like, I don't know, you know, you're coming off of you know healing and recovery and a lot of hurt and pain, a lot of stuff that you had dealt with there and this person wants your attention here and you're having uncertainty about if this is a true love interest um, and there's some things being revealed that really are healing for you but then there's a sense of if you take a risk you take a leap of faith here and there's a sense of I need control around this you know is there going to be a long-term commitment here and there's this decision this obsession over this decision of whether or not going in the right direction here Wow. Okay. You know, Pisces, you know, I want to hear from you guys. So let me know what's going on with you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much. I'll be seeing you guys in another date or two. Remember, weeklies are the only ones on the schedule from Mondays are water sign, Tuesdays fire sign, Wednesdays air signs, and Thursdays are, are earth signs. But every other reading is going to be every day or two. So I'll see you guys in another date or two. I love you guys so much and have a great rest of your week. I'll see you soon.